Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lunatic Rider 209 and I'm back with another video for you. Been getting some emails, a lot of folks been asking me about the very first model of Palmer 80s V1 Spectra. Folks have been messaging me asking what I did to modify mine to continue to keep using my V1 Spectra model. A lot of folks really enjoy the design on the very first model, the grip. People just really seem to be in love with this grip. And the issue people are running into is the very first model, you can see the rear rails are made out of Palmer. And so that won't last very long. Folks had them chip in or just wear out over time from shooting it. So we're going to go ahead and see what I did. You can use a dermal, a mill, razor blade, a file. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to take off all this right here on both sides all the way flush to the frame. But you want to leave four millimeters so this is four millimeter right here you're gonna need to leave about that much on it which is four millimeters on both sides so you'll have to leave the back end like you'll see on this one that I already had modified See how there's, it's four millimeters right there. That's just left on it. So you would take all this material off, all the way down, flush to the frame, like so. And then, what you'll need to do with the drill, a mill, dermal, what you'll need to do then is you'll have to start taking out, try to get some good lighting in here. You'll need to start hollowing out all this material right here. And you'll have to take it all the way down. Let's go ahead and take apart this one so you guys can get a better idea. And there's a lot of guys out there who will sit there and say, do not, do not mess with the frame. Do not do any modifications to the frame. Well, you know what I tell them? They can go fly a kite. I got probably over 20,000 plus rounds on this one right here. I've lost count. I shoot nine millimeter, 40, and also 45 gap from this frame right here. Just this frame alone. There is no integrity taken away from the frame. Still as solid as it was from day one that I purchased. If anything, it's even better than the original. Because instead of Palmer rail, you have a metal rail. And also, you get to keep this nice grip. This was one of their well thought out design grips that everybody loves so much. And then also with the flared out Magwell. So I just wanted to make that little rant real quick because there's guys out there, and even Palmer 80 had a jab at me once they saw what I did and I sent them some emails so they had to put on their website do not try to take out material from the v1 spectra to install metal rail the integrity of the frame will break yada 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 that's all a lie it will not break like I said lost count after 20,000 plus rounds on this frame alone and the only, only issue that I have 
is that the front is just getting charred. That's it. It's the only issue I have. There's no warping. It's just getting smoked. And once it starts getting smoked, you can't really take that off. I've been trying to take that off, but it's like impossible from just shooting it so much and it just pretty much melts itself into the frame. But integrity wise, 100% solid frame right here. This thing is not gonna break on you whatsoever. Now back to what I did in the inside. Took the pin out. Here's my metal rail design. trigger. Let's just do all this real quick and get it over with. Hmm, even better. All right, let's pull the trigger. Slide catch out. I can show you exactly what I did to the frame. Try to so you see how I hollowed it out? I have my finger right there so it kind of catches the light reflection so you can see how I hollowed it out. Let's see how I was saying about this piece right here on the right side. That's what you're gonna need to take out. The reason you're gonna need to take that out is because when you put the rail, that's where it's gonna fall into. So you'll need to take all this out. The easiest way I found to do it is with a mill. And I would have it in a vise sitting like perfectly straight up and down with the magwell. So when you're going with the mill up and down, it's perfectly flush. That way you're not taking material out from the magwell. Because I had that happen on my uh, very first model that I learned doing this too. So make sure that when you're taking this out, that you don't go too far and you don't drill through right here out of the magwell. So be very careful and just little pieces at a time. Just go slowly, little pieces at a time. Slower is better because you gotta remember once you take material out, you can't put it back in. So with your mill or drill bit, or dermal, once you have it nice and tight on the vise, you would just start taking out this material right here and go as far down as needed until you get perfect, perfect fitment with the rear rail on it. And once you do, this is how it all falls into place. Here, let's do this. So you put the rail like so. Just like that. Doesn't move. Nothing. Even without the pin. 
this thing solid in there. Because what I did is, like I said, slow and steady. Just take out little bits at a time and keep dropping it in until you got the perfect fitment. So I was able to get such a nice tight fit on this V1 Spectra model that I, I modified. And if you guys want to take the chance on uh, doing it to your V1 model as well, by all means, you won't regret it. I didn't. And that's what allowed me to still keep these models. I have three of them. I have the Robin Egg, the black, and then I also got a shorty that I'm working on a project. I don't want to say what, because then someone else might do it. But here's my other one that I'm working on. This one already has the rail as well. But this one's going to be a special caliber. So look out for that video when it comes but if you have any questions run into any troubles while you're trying to attempt these uh, modifications go ahead email me leave a comment I'm more than willing to help you guys out we're all in this together for this Second Amendment fight so let's stick together instead of butting heads and causing conflicts we need to unite as one so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed subscribe go ahead and throw a like if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more content i'm hoping my videos won't get taken down anymore i think i might have found out what was going on so continue to look for my videos to come out i'll keep trying to put material out as fast as I can. You can hear the baby already talking. They grow fast. So, there you have it, folks. Spectra V1 model with the rear rail modification. See you on the next one.